So now let us take up the question which was asked this year that is 2023 in UPSC GS mains paper 3 in the section of environment. The topic, the question, the theme was in relation to the oil pollution. So let us have a look at the question. Question was very simple. Questions asked you that what is oil pollution? What are its various impacts on the marine ecosystems? And you were also asked to analyze this particular thing in the context of India also because the question said that in what way is the oil pollution particularly harmful for a country like India. So again if you have to break down this particular question, this is a pretty simple question that is basically just the definition, the concept. The main body has two components. One is the impacts on the marine ecosystem and second is the India part. Right. So how to bring new dimensions, how to brainstorm, what to think, how to gain more points in it. Let us discuss them. First, we will discuss this part that what are its impacts on the ecosystem. First, let us discuss the body part. So if you go by the basic concepts that what exactly do you mean by ecosystem, you will gather your points from there only. Right. So let us think about the marine ecosystem. So the first question is, does the ocean water forms the part of the marine ecosystem? So yes, it does form the part. Then we also have the species, the marine life that is the biodiversity. Yes, it is also a part of the ecosystem. Then we also have the coastal habitats, right? For example, mangroves corals etc so they will also be part of the ecosystems so if you are able to compartmentalize these three components you will get more points otherwise yes there is another way of writing this answer also just read the question and you will get the point that what are its impacts so yes there is an impact on the uh, composition of the ocean water yes there will be an impact on the marine species also right so again one two three four five six number of points here what we are trying to do is basically the points will remain same we are just arranging those points in various compartments that is we are structurizing our answer so when we have to talk about let's say ocean water so what will be the impact of the oil pollution on it think about it the first and the most fundamental impact will be that it will affect the composition right of the ocean water how it will impact the content of dissolved oxygen it will has its impact on the acidification levels right further if you come to the biodiversity what will be its various impacts and also in this water there will be an uh, impact on the penetration of the sunlight also right now because the thing is that once the oil has been spilled on the ocean water so it forms a layer now earlier when there was no oil spill the water was directly exposed to the sunlight so sunlights were penetrating the ocean water which obviously directly impacts the ocean productivity and everything but now this ocean water is covered by the oil which is not allowing the proper penetration of the sun rays and hence it will impact the productivity of the uh, overall marine ecosystems right now if we talk about the biodiversity how this oil is going to impact the marine life so obviously if the marine species are consuming it it is going to directly impact their respiratory system their digestive systems will be impact so basically there will be huge health uh, detrimental health impacts on the marine species right and you will be surprised to know that they also impact the flying pattern of several birds how because these birds which consume the sea animals sea species which also had consumed the oil right so this oil further reaches to the birds and then they impact their flying pattern also right coming to the third component that is habitats here you can write about the various detrimental impacts on the coastal habitats for example mangroves estuaries backwaters similarly corals etc 
right so these are the main points which you could have come up while brainstorming when you got your question paper and then you can frame a beautiful answer so this was the first part now coming to the second part the it is saying that in what way is the oil pollution particularly harmful for a country like india so what are those characteristics which india is having that it becomes particularly vulnerable to such disasters so because we are talking about the marine oil pollution in this very context the in which the question has been asked so just think in this line so this is our india which is in connection with the marine ecosystem right so the first and the foremost point india is having a long coastline around 7517 km of long coastline so automatically because we are so much exposed to the marine environment that if somehow there is an oil spill in this particular region because we have such a long coastline so it is going to affect us detrimentally right second for most of the oil demands for most of the oil needs india is dependent upon import so india has to import so basically a lot of oil is coming let's say from the west asian region to india again the chances the vulnerability of this oil induced disaster increases for india are you getting it also these habitats in this long coastline as well as the lakshadweep and andaman nicobar islands we have such diverse habitats again we have discussed that how the oil spill is vulnerable to this so obviously it will become vulnerable to such habitats for example the bhitar kanika mangroves the sundarban mangroves now in answers when you are writing the geography answer so try to come up with special examples that is in many lectures we have discussed it similarly the corals of the lakshadweep will be impacted the backwaters of kerala they will be impacted here the estuaries will be impacted are you getting it right then also because here the coastal community we have one of the most dense population when it comes to the coastal areas so this population this coastal community is directly dependent on the marine fisheries for their livelihood so again if the oil is having a negative impact on the fishes on the marine species then obviously it will be impacting the fishes also the livelihood of the fishing community right also we know that india's long coastline is exposed to various disasters for example cyclones tsunami coastal flooding high intensity rainfall coastal erosion etc so all such type of disasters further make up the clean up drive very difficult so the point is that somehow there was an oil spill at this particular location and this was also hit by a disaster so obviously automatically the clean up drive will become important hence increasing the vulnerability particularly for india are you getting it so this will be the main body of the answer in introduction because the question itself is directly asking what is oil pollution so you can start directly by defining that what do you understand by oil pollution now because this is a 10 marker question so you do not have much scope you have to complete this answer in 150 words hence start directly by defining that what is oil pollution right when it comes to the conclusion again you can come up with certain technological measures or certain way ahead which a country like india can take in order to cope up with such disasters so let us have a look on the answer introduction just define the oil pollution that it is basically when a liquid petroleum is released into the environment oil spills may be due to leakage from tanks offshore platforms drilling areas etc so just define and uh, list down the factors of oil pollution here starts the main body again as we have discussed the compartments on ocean characteristics the dissolved oxygen part sunlight penetration second is related to the marine life we have discussed these points respiratory systems digestive systems impairing the ability of the bird to fly irritation etc all these points right simple points similarly habitat destruction it destroys the impact, important coastal habitats such as mangroves etc when it comes to the impact on india so the point is vast coastline of india making it naturally vulnerable to such disasters then the economic 
एंगल दैट इज हाई डिपेंडेंस ऑफ इंडिया ऑन द इम्पोर्टेड क्रूड ऑयल सिमिलरली प्रेजेंस ऑफ डाइवर्स इको सिस्टम ऑन द लॉन्ग कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ इंडिया अगेन विद द गिवन एग्जाम्पल्स विच वी हैव टॉक लाइक कोरल्स बैक वॉटर्स एक्सेट्रा कोस्टल कम्युनिटीज एंड देयर डिपेंडेंस फॉर लाइवलीहुड ऑन द मरीन फिशरीज एंड ऑल्सो हाई वेलनेबिलिटी टू वेरियस डिजास्टर्स विच मेक ऑल दिस प्रोसेस डिफिकल्ट राइट प्रिटी इजी क्वेश्चन कमिंग टू द कंक्लूजन पार्ट यू कैन List down various technological measures or various strategies which you must have read in your current affairs. For example, you can mention the magnetic soap, autonomous robots, ultra-absorbent sponges. You must have heard about oil zapper technology, right? So you can use them as a mechanism to way ahead to deal with such disasters, right? So this was all for this question. Thank you and all the very best.